Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, my name is Michael Langdon. Today we're going to be learning a tutorial on how to create dynamically linked Excel spreadsheets. Okay. First thing that you need to know is wherever you uh, create these, they have to stay in the same spot. In other words, they all need to be in the same folder and the folder can't move. So if you need multiple people to be able to access it, it needs to be located on a shared drive. But if it's just you, you can put it on your desktop. Okay? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a questionnaire. So in our new folder, we're going to create a questionnaire in Microsoft Excel. So we'll just call it questions. We'll open it up. And in uh, this particular case, we're going to uh, be asking people about their behavior. Okay? So we're going to ask them about it on Sunday, on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay? So all through the week. Um, and their behavior is either going to be good or evil. Okay? So um, if you want people to only be able to select from good or evil, you have to do what's called data validation. So, we're going to come over here and we're going to create the options for good and evil in another column. doesn't matter where, people won't be able to see it later. Um, we are going to select the area that we want to have data validation. We're going to come up here to where it says data, and we're going to click on data validation. We're going to allow only from the list. Okay? It's going to ask us where. We click here, and we select our options. Click here again and click OK. So now you can click in these areas and you try to type in anything other than good or evil. We're going to say behavior was medium. It won't let you. Okay? But you do get this nice little drop down box. So everybody can select that they were good or evil on those particular days. Okay? So once we have our questionnaire done, we're going to save it. Now we're going to create a, uh, well, the other thing that we need to do is we need to hide this column over here so people can't change those options. So we're going to come over here and we're going to click hide. Now people can't edit their good or evil options over here. So now that we have our questionnaire filled out, um, we're going to save this as something else. Okay? We're going to save it as a, um, uh, oh, you know what? Let's make this smart. Let's put our name up here. We have, we've got a name call, okay? Remember, this wasn't part of the data validation cell, so they'll be able to uh, put whatever data they want in there. So we're going to save this, and let's just say that we sent out this data questionnaire, and it came back, and there were a couple of different people that answered, okay? Let's say that we had, so we'll close this. We're going to copy, paste in the same area, and we're going to pretend that a dog filled this out. Okay? So under this name here, we're going to type in dog. And we're going to say that the dog reported that he was good every day of the week except for Saturday. We're going to save it and close it. Let's say that on the second questionnaire that comes back, it came back from a cat. So we're going to rename this one as cat open it up and we're going to say that they were evil on every day of the week except Sunday because everybody's good on Sunday. Okay, save it and close it. Okay, so we have two questionnaires back and uh, we're going to create another file that we're going to call master. Okay, so actually, you know what, let's just create a whole new PowerPoint, or a whole new Excel worksheet, call it master. Okay, so in the master sheet, we're going to collect all the data from the other sheets. Okay, so we're going to, just anywhere, it doesn't matter, we're going to put in the days of the week again. Whoops. And... Uh, Go ahead and put the name here. Save this, and we're going to open up one of these other files. We're going to go with uh, the cat one first, or the dog one, excuse me. So we're going to copy and paste their behavior, okay? So we're going to right click and copy after we've highlighted them all. 
go back to the master, and instead of clicking paste here, we're going to click right here underneath paste in the corner, and we're going to click paste special. Okay, click paste link, and it automatically puts in the dog's behavior. Okay, go back into dog, close it. Now we go back into the cat's behavior. Do the exact same thing. Copy and put it wherever we want to put it. Put it in the next column. Paste special. Paste link. Okay. Save it and close it. Okay. Now what we've done is here in this master file, um, instead of it just copying and pasting the data, it's actually, if you double click on it, it's showing you the file location for where the data came from. Okay? So you can't actually go into these spots and change the data. So um, if the data is coming from this area, that means that if we change the data in this area, that it will um, change. So close out of this. We're going to say that the cat has had a change of heart and is now good every day of the week. They uh, resubmitted a survey and put it back in. Save it and close it. We go back into the master. Nothing has changed for the cat. Why did anything change? Well, by default, automatic updates and links have been disabled in government computers. So you click Options. You click Enable this content and it should pretty much instantly switch these all over to good. Bam. Save it. Now anytime that somebody goes into either the dog file or the cat file and makes a change, we're going to go ahead and change make dog behavior bad on Tuesday, just so you guys can see. Tuesday, evil, save, close. It's reflected on the master. So nothing has changed. You have to click Options, enable the content, and Tuesday it will be evil now. Bam. Save it and close it. Okay, now another thing that you can do is once you have your uh, coalesced data together, you can copy from an Excel file and you can dynamically link between different Microsoft Office products. So you can go into Work PowerPoint make a new master file that consists of nothing but a dynamic link to the Excel file. That way you have a pretty way to, oh, you know what, that's not right. We're not pasting it there. We're going to paste special. So we go back in here, highlight it again, copy, come up here, paste special, paste as a link, Microsoft Office Excel worksheet. And it shows up. And any change that's made to those other files shows up in here. Okay? Now let's say, how could you use this? So let's say that we sent out the questionnaire and we got 50 different responses back. Okay? So you're going to get an email from a dog, from a cat, from a cow, from whatever. And as you get them in, you name them different things. Um, you know, we need the cow, cow, you need the dog, dog, you need the cat, cat. And you dynamically link them as they come in into that master presentation. Then, if the dog sends in an updated survey that says, no, 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 my behavior's changed, all you have to do is save it as dog again, and it will automatically take over the spot of the file for dog. So, another thing that you would likely want to do um, is going to be conditional formatting. Okay? Let's say that we want to be able to color code these, so at a glance you can look and see if the animals have been good or evil. Okay? You're going to highlight um, whichever data fields you want to be conditionally formatted. In this case, I want to um, conditionally format everything, so I click here. I go up to conditional formatting, highlight cells rule equals to. So format cells that are equal to, and um, what you do is whatever you want to change you put here and however you want to change it you put here. So in this case I want to change anything that says good to a custom format that's green. 
So I go up here to fill, and I click green, click OK, and everything that was listed as good is now green. I click OK. Then I come back up here again to conditional formatting equals to evil custom format red. Click OK. So now anything that's good is listed as green and anything that's evil is listed as red. So note that in the original cat and dog they do not have conditional formatting. But even though they don't have conditional formatting, once they get to our uh, master Excel file, they're color coded. Okay. So another thing that you can do now is uh, you can very quickly see if you know they've. It, it doesn't matter that much for cat and dog, but if there were, you know, 40 different cells, you could look and see, okay, on Tuesday, was everybody good or evil? And be able to very quickly at a glance be able to tell. So once that's done, you can go into the master. When you click update links, it'll also have transferred the color coding over to here. Okay, so that was just a real quick basic lesson on conditional formatting and data validation and dynamically linking PowerPoint and Excel files. Um, if you are listening to this, I have likely already left my position here. If you have further questions, I can be reached here on my personal email or at uh, my personal email. There we go. If there's anything I can help you guys out with, uh, there you go. So uh, that pretty much sums it up. Uh, conditional formatting is very good for uh, survey applications in particular. And I mean, if you think about it, you know, once you're done, you know, you can put in some uh, simple rules to count up the number of goods, to count up the number of evils for every day of the week and for every animal, and be able to compare, you know, are dogs better than cats, that sort of thing. So now that we're done here, um, that concludes my presentation. Thank you. Oh, and uh, call Steve McManamay and Steve McGursky, both McGursky. Thank you. That's McGursky.